Hello everyone, this is Amir Mohammad Shah Sabarani from IR Framework team. Uh, in this series of videos, we want to introduce you with IR Framework uh, that's dedicated to .NET Framework Core 8. And uh, as you wish, I, I wish you remember, IO was our um, ASP.NET unit architecture, which is an ready to use template for ASP.NET projects, both back end and front end. And as you remember, you can download our free version here. You can see the documents here in this link. And if you want to get a deep dive in our architecture, you can come here through our GitHub link. Everything uh, is put here. Okay, just please uh, remember that we wanted to make some entities uh, and add something to our module in Iowa framework. If you do remember from our previous session, uh, we have made a folder here in domain entities in um, as you can see in the subfolder entities Iowa cafe uh, which our entity was barista if you remember it was a class okay as you can see now in this session we want to add services to this class to this entity okay we, I think we would maybe use it. For adding service, we come here in the layer of services, okay? Uh, in sub layer service here, and uh, we can just come through our template that we've put here, as you can see, accounting. Uh, all you see here is that we divided our services into two subfolders uh, in first of all in contracts folder you can see we have added interfaces here every interface here is uh, so simple we made an interface public interface then uh, we added um, in inheritance issue I domain entity services and we put the main entity that we made from last session as you remember here okay so we want to do this here and then going through the services in the services layer we made the service classes so first of all if you do remember making some uh, folder here vertical slicing are uh, you a uh, cafe like what we had here okay in are you a cafe as you do remember contracts and services to subfolders shall be added make contracts oops good contracts then we make another subfolder this is okay first of all we shall add here in contracts an interface coming here in new uh, if you may have seen I have resharper extension, but in order to make everything uh, simple, maybe some of you don't uh, have it, I'm just using the very simple and basic step in each phase so that you can do it for your own. Making interface, okay. Uh, I, barista service we put i um, at the first of the name of each uh, interface in order to remember it for um, uh, you know our future steps here okay i where is the service here added we do implement 
as you remember in our account i domain entity service okay i domain entity service and we just put the barista here okay barista as you can see here the address okay everything is done for our interface but please do remember this is internal we shall make it public if you do it with resharper uh, resharper make everything uh, ready to use and because of this maybe you would uh, forget to do it if you are doing it in your own Ctrl K, Ctrl D, okay, everything here. So once we made our interface, as you see here, we shall make our service here. Okay, just add new item. It would be a class, the name Barista Service. Okay the service for interface and for the class of the service the service add it here uh, make it public okay uh, we can here see how we have implemented uh, templates of service as you can see domain entity service uh, using the name of the entity we can just copy and paste it okay implementing domain service not account role we just want to make it our stone this is our first we do not need this aggregate good <coughs> and then what did we have here in our account profiles the interface that we have made it previously okay i barista service i barista service good okay empty uh note that please here we do not need a constructor function and we do not need concept of uh, repository of service here all of these uh, have been done and have been implemented automatically before and everything are ready to use here you can see the documenta documentation to, uh, pardon documentation uh, of these issues in our site in a part of documents okay as you can see here in services part okay these are the types of the services and uh, these functions all of these functions are implemented in uh, your service class you can use them all and you do not need to come to the uh, repository issues uh, as you've seen here we've made some samples in the site see just the simple interface uh, these uh, were for our previous versions uh, in which you shall make these issues and these implementation uh, we ha have everything so much easier for you and you can see that here we do not even need these of unit, uh, our unit of work and uh, this constructor we have made all this issue automatically just put these two implementation uh, domain entity service and i barista service everything would be done here uh, i just seen one issue that wanted to share with you here uh, our issue is that if you just see here our barista class uh, it's a class that implements int for its key as you can see uh, here 
make class barista implement i domain entity long okay uh, if we just click here for the res uh, resolution of our uh, inconsistency we can see that uh, i domain entity long everything would be uh, put here and we shall here implement missing member public long id get and set so this would be a matter of concern because maybe the system would uh, confuse these two IDs uh, with each other. Uh, for uh, resolving this issue, I do suggest that please do not take uh, the key other than long here. You know, uh, you shall make some changes. Just make it the base situation domain entity we just click it then everything would be solved here just in your domain entity uh, take off the type of key int everything would be back to its default long and you will uh, proceed here with no other problems and as you know uh, making int and long would not be uh, harsh for your system and uh, you can run it so clear because uh, we have made many spaces your uh, load balance is too low and uh, it wouldn't be any sort of problem to your system with issues of transactions but please do remember that if you have vast transactions uh, usually we do not suggest using entity framework there you shall uh, make uh, ado.net for those systems with uh, high tracking transactions in the time okay okay back to our work make it here for example we want to make a function here so that you can what do we have public also task we sort of task barista okay. get barista by ID ID means long and let's say barista ID Uh, here, for example, you want to take barista uh, with some certain ID, making var barista. We shall put here await. As you know, we have this thing await. We have the set here the where. Okay, these are link. Mm, barista b a lambda expressions mm, b a dot id okay, equals to here our barista id our barista id okay and which one first or default async <coughs> good and uh, return to us our baris oh oops. I have some typos here so uh, this is the simple <coughs> task that we handle but uh, as you've seen <coughs> we can make uh, some other action in order to get the result um, we can make this okay just copy it and comment it you will now see another issue here okay this is all we can do here is 
making away uh, other issue get all okay this command is here in your repository and you can make everything so minimal with uh, less load balance of your database okay we put the first or default async here in which <clears throat> our BA log extraction so that our BA dot ID uh, equals our, our list uh, our list ID here as you can see uh, that's much more suitable I think and uh, it would help to make a less load balance for the system everything here depends on your uh, architecture and are your software um, architect what you think and what your business needs so uh, as i've told you uh, all of your businesses and issues are here you can see uh, all the services functions and description of them are here if you do have some businesses other than these okay you can come here in just uh, in iBarsa service you will define it as you have seen for example in our uh, accounting module contract we made some uh, additionally usable uh, businesses here and for example here you can see okay these services and uh, globally use them in your service from the interface coming back to your service everything would be okay this template is exactly open source and exactly flexible for your usage if you couldn't find out how to do it please do not hesitate call us and we can do it simply and fast for you as you want anytime anyhow so uh, I just want to show you how to uh, do that for example as you can see we have this method here um, get a student by ID we just take it okay click on it I burst the service okay I've just implemented here and going where to test it we can close them all okay coming back here for example in commands I'm just uh, showing you you don't need to do it okay uh, for example in um, command handlers or commands no matter okay uh, just I want to show just make some for example this reset password okay we make private read only i bar is the service i just want to inject it so that you can see uh, if we do have um, access okay example we see we shall make this commercialization uh, i will uh, clean up all them and for example in this task it's a sync here mm. okay good as you can see barista service dot get barista by id this is what we've implemented okay everything is accessible here so simple so don't worry about all issues and uh, please keep in mind uh, notice that uh, i will clean up all these issues so that uh, don't worry about it okay clean up all this then this uh, it was just an example an instance don't worry about everything good thank you you oh 
here is our friend come on thank you everyone see you in our next video